seriously, why do people do shit like that? Once you use your you just clean it lah. Plus, it's actually very hygienic because of this ring. So I thought this was really cool and very hygienic. You see this ring? It's lined with plastic. And once you're done, you just press this. So nothing fancy, I just got myself a mango lemonade black tea and also some green juice because I feel like when I travel, my immune system goes down so I need some of this. An update at 12.41pm. I just checked in. Thank god I can check in slightly earlier. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wash up, take a shower because I feel so gross. I wore this since yesterday. Like the entire day and then I slept in it and then I'm going to do my laundry but first uh, let me show you the room as you walk in this is what you'll see on the left is a full-length mirror and on the right is a cupboard so mine's number five thank god because it's the bottom one so I can put my biggest luggage in it instead of like I can't imagine putting it up there I'll die so this is my bed here there's a desk to use um, this is my laundry detergent and also my tokens and there's more bits there I'm really happy because I want to wash my clothes and they have a washer and a dryer which is what my detergent and the two tokens are for I don't have to walk 14 minutes just to go to the laundrette to do my laundry and I'm contemplating taking a nap because I feel kind of blur It's my first time using uh, powdered detergent so I'm not sure if you're supposed to put the entire thing I think I think this is one portion Weird thing is there's already laundry detergent here when it's supposed to be softener according to here so I'm guessing I have to put it here Maybe I should just put all. Yeah. It's starting. So this is my room three o three, and right next to it is the toilet and also the shower. This is how the toilet looks like. Kind of small, but does the job. Again, no water. Hi. No water. Every time, no water. Everywhere, no water. Rebecca gave me these to eat um, in case I run out of money and I'm hungry. <laughs> I'm not sure if this can fill me up, but it's more like a snack. And I really like it. I like uh, Honey Sunflower, specifically by this brand, Tong Garden. Oh my gosh, I'm finally able to go out because my clothes took two rounds to dry. Because the first round, I put it on medium, but apparently I'm supposed to put it on the highest temperature. So I'm starving right now and I'm going to go look for pilmeni. 
so I googled and found this Pelmeni place and apparently it's really good. This place is actually kind of small and cozy. that I was struggling with the Russian menu although I can kind of figure out what I want so he gave me the English version and I ended up with this oh by the way he can speak really good English so I have 8 of this and 8 of this and of course I had to get sour cream and my kvass I've just had the Siberian um, mini. even though it's supposed to be spicy it's not spicy at all but oh my god it's so good like when I put my fork through it there's soup so it's like kind of watery but oh my god it's so good Today is such a gloomy morning because it's raining. Today is going to be a really rainy day and for the next few days as well. Now I have to plan where to go because the things that I want to do like the boat cruise uh, and all that is not feasible right now because it's raining and I don't want to be in the boat in the rain. Now I think I will just use my umbrella and walk around Nevsky Prospect. Prospect Building 22 because I'm looking for the office to buy my boat cruise because I think in the afternoon it won't be rainy it's so nice right now this is the Moika River I am heading back to my hostel because I just want to chillax for a bit before my boat cruise at 2 p.m. I'm really excited for that because it finally stopped raining and hopefully it stays chill like that for a few hours so I can go walk around even more without my umbrella oh I'm also going back to the hostel to get my hoodie because uh, the boat cruise I think it'll be really chilly and very cold and I don't think this denim jacket although it looks good it fits my outfit but I need something more comfy and warm well I am the first one on the boat yay me there's no one here yet yep I'm the only one I think because it's a rainy day, so I'm gonna have to pay attention. <laughs> Good morning. So right now I am going to the church of Saviour and Spilt Blood. I can never get that name right but it's right behind me. There's the Putin one, there's the SARS. My next activity is actually a free walking tour and the meeting point is right outside this diner so I decided to come get my breakfast and this is the weirdest combination ever. So this is what I ended up with. Um, this is potato and omelette. This is uh, a pastry that is cold 
Uh, I don't know if they're supposed to heat it up for me. I don't know why did I get this egg. Why? And a lemonade. This is the worst meal ever. I'm not even gonna finish it. I am now on the walking tour. It's free and it's awesome because the guy is very fluent in English and he jokes and he's a historian. Guide brought us to a farmer's market which is so awesome because I wouldn't know of this place if it wasn't for him. Oh my gosh, I got three fruits. They're so awesome. Mm. This is called the perfect street because the architect that built it, Rossi, he sounds pretty OCD to me and I like it. So windy. Sometimes I feel like I'm gonna just fly away. Got myself an ice cream because it's a really hot day. For lunch, this is what I'm gonna have. Cup noodles and the pears that I got from the farmer's market. Wow, there's free raspberries. Mm. Right now, I'm at the Peter and Paul Fortress where St. Petersburg all started.